Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. Daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. We are doing something super fun tonight. And I have a stowaway. Evers, are you coming with? We're going to the Orlando Vegan Market tonight. And Eve is coming with. Oh, we got Eve. We're in the car. We're downtown. Downtown. That's Lake Yola right over there. We're about to go show Eve swans. Hopefully, they don't attack her. What are we doing? We are going to the Orlando Vegan Market. First ever at this location. We really, truly don't even know what to expect, but we're going to eat there dinner. There better be here. some food. Is what yeah. we expect. <laughs> yeah. That's what we think. We expect that's what we expect. Food. Here we are, just a walking down the street, saying, Do I did it, did it, did it, She's loving her life right now. She doesn't even want to be by us. We realized that she hasn't really ever gotten like a city life that we we love and know. Let's go to the lake. You see the swans and you'll be even more nosy. Come on. So we're hitting up that vegan market, Sarah said. Did we say it's in Thornton Park? So it's in Thornton Park, which is this is how weird downtown Orlando is. Um, right here is Lake Eola. There's the skyline of Orlando. Um, but the lake is like the eastern part of downtown Orlando. And then Thornton Park is the first neighborhood to the right. Oh, there's a big swan right here. Look at that big swan. And more over there. Um, Eve, I don't think you've ever seen a duck. That's a big duck. That's a very big duck. I think that duck thinks it's a swan. Those yeah. feet are fake. We made it. There's so much good stuff here and music. Fun. And the cutest houses. Like, why don't we live? Well, this is a, this is a venue to stay. I don't think you. I don't think you stay here. I think it's like for renting for events. Oh, cool. So nice. Okay, let's show what we're gonna get. Yeah. The first place we're going is gonna be Jamaican Veggie Patty. So the that booth that Peter is ordering us one from, we're just gonna get like a lot of different things to share. It's called the Bearded Vegan, and there's also toppings. And Peter's trying something right now. I'm so excited. This is like our starter. The other things we're gonna get are get like more meals. But we're just gonna share it all so we can taste a little bit of everything. What did you get? I got a spicy sauce that comes with a patty. Okay. And I got sea moss. It's 92 <laughs> minerals that are included in the human body. I tried it, it's so good. Really? Yeah. So here is the Jamaican patty. I'm gonna take a bite of it so you can see inside. It is super, super good. Kind of like... I haven't tried it yet. No, no, I'm trying to like explain it. Okay, you try it and then we'll try to explain it. What do you think? It tastes like the Thai chili dumplings we get from Publix, but in like an empanada almost. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, it's yummy. And the sauce is really yummy too. It tastes like something you get from food and wine. Now you gotta try the uh, the sea moss. This is jar of the sea moss drink. There's the ingredients: there water, sea moss, coconut cream, organic agave, bleached organic cane sweetener, and a bunch of other nice deliciousness. It's so good, refreshing drink from the bearded vegan. Hey, Eve, are you having a good time? So happy! Look at this turnout. There's a lot more people here. Sorry, we got here like right after it opened. There's a lot of people. And one happy pup. You're the only pup I've seen so far. Hello. Here's the next stop. Che Che's Vegan Eatery. Vegan soul with an island flair. There you go. So we got the, from Che Che's e Vegan Eatery, we got the no KFC bowl. It's got some potatoes, country gravy, a milk, what they're calling a milk butter biscuit. But it's is there a bug in my head? I don't think there's a bug in your head, but I don't know for certain. Okay. We got Eva bowl for her water, and everyone's got like cool, environmentally friendly forks and utensils and everything. Delicious? Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta get in there. We haven't had a biscuit in a long time. Well, I guess we've had a at um, Mark Nunn's so. Not like that? It's good, but it's, it is not even close to the real thing. Oh, but really? it's good. 
Just go into it not thinking it's going to be a buttermilk biscuit and you'll like it more. So I'm in line for the next place. It's called Caribbean. It's Caribbean style plant-based food, but this line is crazy. Here's a closer look at their menu. We're gonna get the steak and onions. I wanted that anyways, but the other two are sold out. It's a busy place. And then it has white rice and red beans, different salads. And there's other options too. I think we're gonna get the cauliflower bites. How come we're gonna open up She's loving her life, but also a little toasty. But look at how many people are here. This is this just proves how big vegan markets growing and we're gonna be able to go to these places all the time once we get into our new place in Winter Park. Yeah. Very more exciting. And more approachable. This feels more Chicago. northern Chicago, uh, so north side Chicago. Oh yeah, I love it. She loves it too. <laughs> Alright, so now they've told us they officially sold out of the third rice bowl. And so they got cauliflower bites and loaded plantains. We'll have to go see them in Lake Nona to check out their rice bowls, but this is an awesome turnout. Evie made some friends. Made some friends, there's lots of more dogs here now. There are and you are nice and wiped out. We're gonna sleep good tonight. It is quite busy. I think we're done. We got to the last two pieces that we just got. We're gonna enjoy my front. I think we're gonna go walk around and figure out where to get a sweet treat or a drink. I need yeah. like water it's and hot. I want like a smoothie. There's a pressed juice place, but the lines back there are crazy, but I love it. And we already found out, and we'll put the information down below, but this is gonna happen again next month. Well, yeah. they said the next two, one of the vendors said we're signed up for the next two months, but all they said online so far from the September. location was September. I think it's on the 23rd or 25th. We'll put the information down below, but if you are here locally or you happen to be here on vacation and you've got an afternoon to not spend in the parks, Yeah, it would say get here early. Like we did like a lap first and I realized like had we just gotten in line right away, um, we wouldn't have had to wait so long. Like, and we would have gotten really the, we wanted to get a rice bowl, but it sold out. The plantains are gonna be delicious. And all of it was literally fresh made right there because they were making it basically to order. Yeah, so. this tastes like Christmas. It does taste like Christmas. <laughs> And if we can find the information from all the booths that were here, we'll put those down below too. I think they're online on Facebook. Yeah. For our last two items here, we got sweet plantains with some corn and relish and some other stuff, some delicious sauces. Then over here, we've got fried cauliflower with buffalo sauce in there and some sweet dipping right there. Looks like a, like a vegan mayonnaise aioli or something, but this all looks and smells delicious. Okay, so I cut that one in half so you can see how delicious it looks. So it's just a white cauliflower I don't know what how they do their breading, but it's so soft but so crispy. It actually, the texture-wise, is very similar to buffalo boneless chicken wings. I mean, the taste is this. delicious. It's so yummy. It's like the perfect mix of sweet and savory. Oh, just wait until you. I'm about to. This is all gonna be yours. I'm about to finish my last piece. Ooh, the band's coming back. Eve is just about ready. Just over two more weeks, and this is gonna be Sarah and myself. Hitting the streets of downtown Orlando and all of its neighboring communities. Whatever this place is. SoCo. Fucking fancy. Oh, fancy, fancy. Eve has been around so many people and so many dogs that she's so desensitized. That little doggy just walked right past. She's tired. She's been warm since we got out and kind of really pumped. And barely even, she's not pulling or nothing. Where are we going now, Eve? You're leading the way. It's so funny being down here. We've seen so many like little of the airy buildings that we've searched. Like we've looked in there for apartments. We've looked in there for apartments. We've looked over there online for apartments. Because we, we were like, how cool would it be to be this close to Lake Eola in the park and all the food and everything. Sure. Look at this big, beautiful tree. Just get ready. Get ready for these awesome vlogs of us exploring downtown Orlando, eating Sorry. all the food. Sorry this one wasn't super artsy. We were just Soak it all in. Should we do a fancy montage right now? Yes.
Oh, she's down. They are home and a very special package arrived just in time for tomorrow. And that is our reusable spoon, fork, knife, straw, chopstick sets. And they come in these cute little packages just in time for food and wine. Came with spoon, knife, fork, chopsticks. And then one straight psychedelic straw and one bent and then a straw cleaner. And so we got four sets, plus they each, whoops, have this little pouch, um, four sets for 20 bucks. So I'll put the Amazon link below. I mean, the wood is like definitely a different texture to get used to. Like I, we used wood, like some wood utensils tonight and it was different. Um, but think of how many utensils you use at Food and Wine, it'll be worth it. Okay, I think I'm going to go to bed. Peter just left for his run. Here's the message. Dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars and see yourself running with them. Marcus Aurelius. All right, back at it in the gym. Feeling good, feeling ready. Actually, I feel ready. I'm not too pumped about the run, but I did just remind myself the last time I ran, even though I've taken two days off, last time I ran was Sunday, I ran 20 miles. So me going on this, I'm about to run six miles. I think I can do it. I just need to do it. I also realized that there's only a few times left I can run the treadmill because we don't have a gym in our new apartment. I don't know if Katie and Eddie have one, but um, I don't think they do. No, they're in a town home. They don't have one. So strictly outdoor running after this week, so I should probably savor this opportunity while I can. But time to get back in. I'm kind of excited. But I also just want to go to bed, but I am excited. So six miles, here we go. I'm going to make sure Peter signs off too. And I'm going to call my mom, lay here with Eve, probably fall asleep. I haven't, I've been driving Peter to work, so I haven't been getting my very full eight hours, but I'm going to be back into the swing of things. I got acupuncture yesterday. I got a B12 injection yesterday, so I'm feeling good, drinking my tea. There's really no update. I um, I do have an appointment on Tuesday to see if everything's progressing, but I do know somebody else who goes to my specialist. Their appointment for Tuesday was changed because of the hurricane that is coming our way. Um, we're not really sure, like, as hurricanes arrive and change, like, hourly things are different. So we're going to be prepared. We're going to be at Katie's for it. So... We know we're going to be safe, we're prepared, we have our what we need. Um, so hopefully my appointment doesn't get cancelled or changed just because timing is so important. Um, but there's that, I feel good, just a little update for you. It's good to be home. I only did five, but it's because there's something I didn't realize until after my run started. Got all excited when I got here, because this here fan is running. What I neglected to realize is that that is still here. And it took all of like 10 minutes for me to realize that there is no AC in this room. There's just a fan circulating in that little box. So that crazy vegan market was good, but not my normal nutrition. So my stomach felt a little bit off and Technically today was six miles, but since I took yesterday as a rest day, I could shift everything. And if I shifted everything, today would be five, tomorrow would be six, Friday would be five. Instead of yesterday, five, today, six, tomorrow, five. So I'm gonna do five today, six tomorrow, five Friday. Anyway, I gotta clean up this treadmill. Look at this thing. That is messed up nice and sweaty. That's why I bring the towel so I can cover that and I don't see it. Get in my head all mentally. But since I only have too many handful of runs left in here. I know Sarah I think is already in bed because it was a long day. I'm gonna do my sign off from here. So thank you so much for following along with us all these vlogs and all these months and now years. It's kind of fun. We started not too long after we moved here, we had Hurricane Irma. And now as we transition out of our apartment into our next apartment, we have a little hurricane that's gonna come our way. So best of luck to everybody getting ready in Florida. We're fine here. Everyone's already freaking out, but every single day there's more water refilled. 
Every single day there's more gas refilled, and every single day there's more food refilled. So as long as you don't wait until Sunday, you'll be fine. I had people leave in my office today to go get everything. I'm like, guys, you guys have been Floridians longer than I have. And I know that we got this. We'll go to get gas tomorrow morning or the next morning. But anyway, I ramble. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.